So tonight we want to give opportunities. You have about uh, four warrants and a, an amendment to your bylaws to vote on this evening. And we want to encourage you to sign up right now to speak in favor of or in opposition to any of the warrants or the, um, the amendments. The Metro Early College High School is a small school in Columbus, Ohio. We have partnerships with the Battelle Science Institution and Ohio State University, as well as the 16 different districts here in Franklin County, and we focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Metro is diff very much different from the traditional high school. There's only 100 students per class, so a maximum of 400 students. Town Hall meetings here at Metro are really an example of pure democracy. Students think of things they wish we did have or they look at policies that we have that they don't like and they make amendments or articles and they put them forward and then during the town hall meeting event they talk about why they put it forward and then we just vote. It is a proposal to allow students to use their cell phones during the lunch period as long as they are respectful of their surroundings, number one, and shut them off five minutes before third period starts, number two. This requires a simple majority to pass. It was submitted by student Caroline Hamhoff. Town hall meetings allow students to have freedom of speech because they can propose warrants, they can vote on the issues, and they are allowed to speak for an issue during the town hall meeting. Our cell phone policy is very strict and cell phone usage is almost not allowed anywhere anytime and it won it passed and that was one of the greatest feelings having the confidence to get up there in front of everybody and share what I wanted to see happen in my school and so for me again to have the freedom of speech to do that was a really great thing. With freedom of speech and expression comes a certain um, onus to be a responsible member of a democracy. With power and freedom, living above the line means responsibility. I really hope you're ready for the responsibility of cell phones. Civic responsibility. With every right, there's a responsibility commensurate with that right. That's something that uh, I think if you give the students a little more power into it, you know, we're Metro students, we're here, we're doing our thing, you know, to get ahead in life. So uh, I think we'll make the right choice. Usually these adults, these experts on the school board make decisions about how school's going to operate. Then they tell the superintendent and they tell the principal and the principal tells the teachers and the teachers tell the kids. And in our situation it's almost, I don't know that it's exactly reversed, but it's definitely on the spectrum where it's definitely shared power. We kind of eliminate and change the way we decide and make policies by including students and the parents as well as the faculty and staff on any changes that need to be made. I think that it's essential that students and parents be invited into the process, that staff and administration have are just one voice among many. I think of course that uh, students have free speech around there. I think it's just um, if you take the initiative to step up and actually put it out there, uh, there's a lot of amendments put up tonight, you know, uh, there are good ones. And those are from regular students that are here at school, so I think it is. It's just up to the student and uh, what you do to it. You know, if you have a voice, you know, you have the right to speak. No one can, like, shut you up. So. I think that all we need to do is just try hard, and there is freedom of speech within school districts.